Okay guys, we're going to start talking about electron configuration. Um, what you see before you right here is the periodic table that we made in class together. Uh, a few things I want to point out to you again. Uh, the red that we see over here, that is our S block, our S sub level. Uh, this orange that you see down below, that is the F block. And the green you see, that is the D block. And then lastly, the purple you see, that is the P block, okay? Because our sublevels are S, S, P, D, and F, okay? Now, what we need to point out is that the S sublevel has one orbital, and we know that there, are, there can be two electrons in each orbital, so uh, S has two electrons possible, and we see that it has two columns or two groups. Now the F, uh, we see that that has uh, 14 blocks. So therefore it makes sense because F has seven orbitals which can hold two apiece, so they can hold 14. So there's 14 groups or 14 columns. D, again we see that it has 10 because it has five orbitals, each holding two of 10. And then P, a six, and it has a total of three orbitals for a total of six electrons. Okay, now we're going to get into how we actually use this and use our periodic table that we made. Now over here on the side column, if you can see it, uh, we've labeled the rows. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now. For the electron configuration, for the F block, all we do is we subtract 2 from the row number. Okay, so this starts with 4 and 5. In the D block, we subtract 1, so this is 3, 4, 5, and 6. And then, we're missing it right here, but the um, P block is just the same as the row number. It's 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and start with some examples. We'll start, first of all, with chlorine. So we want to write down the electron configuration for chlorine. Okay, the first thing we need to realize is looking at the periodic table is that chlorine has 17 electrons. So when we write the electron configuration we need to make sure that when we finish we have 17 electrons. Now to start off what we have to do every time we write electron configuration we start with row 1 and we start with the S block. We start at the very top and we work our way down. Now basically all we want to do is we're going to count until we get to chlorine. Okay, so we start here and we see that this is row one, it's S block. Okay, and we count one, two. All right, we're done with that row. Okay, because I know that in one S it can hold two electrons. Okay, and we see that they're taken up. Then we go back down and we have two, and it's S block, and it can hold two electrons. Then we keep moving over, it's right here, and we have two, this is P block, and two P can hold six electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, then we come back to here, we have three, because we finished that row out. We have three, S, and it can hold two. One, two, and we keep going. Then we have three, P, and we have one, two, three, four, five, because we only need five. Okay, so we check and make sure that we have the right number of electrons. Two plus two is four, plus six is 10 plus 2 is 12, plus 5 is 17. We have 17 electrons, so our electron configuration is written like this. Now this is electron configuration notation. Okay, and in a later video we'll talk about the noble gas notation. Now guys, the next uh, electron configuration we're going to work is for bromine. Uh, and we see, first of all, that bromine has 35 electrons, okay, so when we're done we got to make sure that we have 35 electrons, 
Okay, so let's start off just like we did before. We start, we have one S and it has two electrons. Then we have two S and two electrons. Then we move over, we have two P and it can hold six. And then we have three S two, move on over, three, P, six, keep going, we have four, S, two, keep on moving over and we hit D block and we have three, D, we count, three D ten and then we have four and it's P block and we only need one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we count and make sure that we have thirty five electrons. We have two, four, ten, twelve, eighteen, twenty, thirty, five. Okay, so this is our electron configuration for bromine. Okay guys Next electron configuration we're going to work, we're going to work for iodine. Now, iodine has 53 electrons. And the problem with iodine um, is that it has 53 electrons. It's a very large atom. So therefore, what we want to do is we want to shorten this up, okay, so it doesn't take up so much space and it's easier to write. So what we're going to do is we're going to write the noble gas notation. Now what you can see over here in group 18, all those elements right there, those are the noble gases. Okay. Now what we do is we're looking at iodine, we basically go backwards on the periodic table until we hit a noble gas. And the noble gas that we hit was krypton. Okay, it's KR. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put krypton in brackets, and what that says is that represents the first 36 electrons, because krypton has 36 electrons. And then all we have to do is, since krypton's 36, start writing our electron configuration with. 37. So start right here and write our electron configuration and that's all we have to write. Okay, so let's start writing our electron configuration. Here's Krypton. So we go ahead and start right after Krypton and we have 5S and it can hold 2. And we keep moving and we run into 4D Ten, and then we keep going and we have 5P, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we stop at iodine, and this would be our noble gas notation for iodine. That's its electron configuration with the shortened noble gas notation.